Salut! Welcome back to French Arena. I'm Sumo from French Arena and in today's wonderful French lesson, we are going to be taking a look at the French prepositions of time. You might ask, what are these Sumo? They are à, en, dans, pendant, depuis, and durant. Let's start. Now, prepositions are honestly very tricky in the French language. I say this because we have so many different prepositions and even if in today's lesson we are only looking at prepositions of time, as an English native speaker, if you try to translate it in French, <laughs> it would not work out. You have to understand it in the French language and equally understand yours and know when to use which. For instance, you might be asking, Sumo, why do we say nous mangerons dans une heure and not nous mangerons en une heure? They both mean in, right? Or why do we say mon fils est né en septembre and not mon fils est dans en septembre? But do not worry, we're going to discuss this extensively in today's French lesson. And make sure you stay till the end because we're also going to do a quick quiz, okay? So that this actually helps you cement what it is you have learned in today's lesson. Let's get started. Now, the first one, ah, ah. The preposition ah expresses the time at which an event occurs. So, for instance, if I wanted to say we eat at 8 o'clock, I would say nous mangeons à 8 heures. Do you see? You're talking about the time that that event is going to occur. I will eat, oh, excuse me, we eat at 8 o'clock. Nous mangeons à 8 heures. Or if perhaps I wanted to say he'll speak at noon, I can say il va parler à midi. Il va parler à midi. So you understand when I said that it talks really about when that event will occur. So you have to be careful when you're using à in prepositions of time. The next one, en. En. En expresses the length of time an action takes or the months, the seasons, year in which something takes place. Okay? So, for instance, if I say nous avons mangé en une heure, nous avons mangé en une heure, you can see that it has expressed the length of time it took people to eat or it took us to eat, okay? Because you would ask, okay, so how long nous avons mangé en une heure? That was the length of time it took for them to eat. Or if I equally say, il va parler en hiver, il va parler en hiver, you can see that it's talking about the season, which is what? In winter. So this is another instance in which you can use en. Now, don indicates the amount of time before an action will begin. So for instance, I keep using food, right? <laughs> if I say, nous mangerons dans 20 minutes, nous mangerons dans 20 minutes, which means we will eat in 20 minutes okay we will eat in 20 minutes so if i said nous mangerons dans 20 minutes you can see that this is expressing the amount of time before the action will take place right because it's talking about it before now depuis refers to the duration of something that is still going on in the present or was still going on when something else happened so for instance i can say nous mangeons depuis une heure Nous mangeons depuis une heure. So you see that that means we've been eating for an hour. It's explaining the duration of which we've been eating, which has been an hour. Or if I say, il parle depuis cinq minutes. Il parle depuis cinq minutes. Which means what he's been talking for about five minutes. So you see, it's explaining the duration in which he has been talking. Now, pendant and durant refer to the entire duration of an action. So, for instance, if I wanted to say we ate for an hour, I would say nous avons mangé pendant une heure or I can equally say nous avons mangé durant une heure. Do you see? So, it's talking about the entire duration it took me. How long did it take all of us to eat? Nous avons mangé pendant une heure or nous avons mangé durant une heure. Or, another example, I can say il peut parler durant 15 minutes or il peut parler pendant 15 minutes. Do you understand? <laughs> so, I hope you've been able to understand when to use these different prepositions of time. A, don, on, pendant, durant. Let's dive into the quiz. Now, you're going to tell me which preposition I should use for this one, okay? Is it don, is it on, or is it a? 
now we're going to look at a quiz. I'm just going to test you on five questions just to be sure you know which propositions to use. Why don't you leave me your answers in the comment section? Tell me, oh, Sumo, I got one, I got all five, or I got three, so that we can talk about where you need to improve. Let's get started. Number one, je serai là deux semaines. Is it dans, en, a? Exactly, it is dans. Je serai là dans deux semaines. Number two, il part toujours en vacances juillet. Is it en? Is it pendant? <laughs> is it durant? Exactly, it is en. Il part toujours en vacances en juillet. Let's look at number three. Numéro 3. Quand étudiez-vous le français? Is it depuis? En ou dans? Exactly. It is depuis. Depuis quand vous étudiez le français? Now, number 4. J'ai étudié le français 3 ans. Is it pendant, dans ou à? Exactly. J'ai étudié le français pendant trois ans. And the final one. How are you doing? <laughs> the final one. Nous arrivons cinq heures. Is it à, en ou dans? Exactly. I knew you would get it. It is nous arrivons à cinq heures. Now, how did that feel? Did you get all five? Did you get three? Did you get one? It's perfectly okay if you didn't get everything at once. What you need to do is watch this lesson again and practice and you definitely will. Do not forget to tell me in the comment section how many you got. Did you get all five? Did you get three? Did you get two? Did you get four and a half? Because you guessed. <laughs> That's okay as well. I hope that today's lesson has been able to teach you more about the French prepositions of time. Like I said, there are so many prepositions. We cannot learn everything today, but do not worry. In subsequent lessons, I will teach you about prepositions of place, of manner, okay? If you loved today's lesson, please do not forget to give it a like, share with anyone else who wants to understand French prepositions of time, and please do not forget to subscribe. Until I see you in this lesson, bonjour!